Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is continue to take a look at how we can create geometry within 1CNC. Now, we've already looked at how we can use coordinate input or grid snap, but in this video, I want to demonstrate how you can utilize existing geometry to create new geometry. For example, let's say we want to create four circles that are at the arc center of these existing four circles. To do that, we'll head over to the main toolbar, we'll grab arc, I already have a smaller diameter put in here, We'll take our cursor, move into the drawing area, and wait till we see that circular symbol. Once you see that circular symbol, that tells you that you're at the very center of an arc or a circle. I can simply just left hand mouse click to create our brand new, our brand new circle. Very, very simple. Now, you can also create geometry on the circumference of existing circles. For example, let's say I want to take this circle and create it at, how about, zero degrees on this existing circle. So I come over to the circumference, wait till I see that marker, then left click. So I can create geometry if I'd like to at 0, 90, 180, and also 270. It's real simple. And there's also other increments along the circumference you can use as well. Let's say I want to create these circles at the end point of these existing lines. Just come down here, wait till you see the reference marker, and then left click. You can also grab the midpoint, wait till you see that little triangular marker, and left click. It's very, very simple. So within one CNC, you can create geometry at endpoints, as well as midpoints and arc centers, as well as on the circumference of existing arcs. Very, very simple. If you'd like, of course, you can also grab the point locations as well. All right, now let's take a look at creating some lines. I'm going to head back over to the main toolbar. I'm going to grab the line tool. And why don't we start our brand new line at the beginning of this point right here at that endpoint. So I'm going to left click. Now let's say I want this line to terminate at that point. Well that's real easy, you just hover over the point and left click. But what if I want the line to terminate tangent to an existing arc? Not a problem, just take your cursor, wait till you see the tangency symbol, and then left hand mouse click. When you're done with that particular line, just right hand mouse click. So let's do that again. I'm going to left click the beginning, I'm going to hover over the tangency location, wait till I see the tangency marker, then left click. When I'm done with that line, I just right hand mouse click. Let's do that same right down here. We're going to start at this corner with a left click, tangency symbol, left click. We're done with that line, so we'll right hand mouse click. We're going to left hand click, wait till we see the tangency symbol, left hand click, and then when we're finished, right hand mouse click. So creating geometry within one CNC is very versatile. There's lots of ways to do that, and I hope these videos have helped out. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.